uh, it gave me kind of a, a harsh feeling in my lungs. Um, I don't know if that's because I have a cold coming on. My girlfriend seems to be coughing lately too. Um, but I've had a little tickle in my throat. I don't know if that's due more to the flavor. I'm sorry, more to the, the shisha than anything else. Um, I have a tendency not to get sick when she does. I have an immune system that's made out of gold. But um, I don't get that feeling in my lungs I do from you know, graham cracker or peanut butter jelly or um, spiced apple cider. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but um, point being, it's uh, it's a really smooth flavor in comparison to the other ones that I review. And I actually haven't reviewed them at all. I've smoked them um, from this brand. Sorry, again, not using the right terminology due to the that. Um, I have to say this. I'm impressed with the cut uh, a lot with Hookah Hookah and Hookah Freak. Um, the shred is nice. It makes it really easy to, to make the bowl even on top and to not get like super gooey. It's wet, but it doesn't have that sort of sticky feeling you get from Alfaka or um, you know some of the stickier Star Buzz um, or you know really, really gooey 50 packs of Roman. Um, like I've experienced the good times in the orange. Um, out of 10, it's hard um, this early in. Uh, I'll take another hit. You know what? We, we're not even close to the 10 mark, minute mark, so I'll, let's do this. Whatever. You know what, I'll give it an 8.7, because you know what, this is this is something I'll probably smoke more often than, than some of the other flavors I have. I have a good 20-something flavors, you know, a good majority of which are a fucker. And um, I like it. I like it, i got to be honest. Um, I think a lot of my presupposition on what I should expect for, uh, you know, from Hookah Hookah and Hookah Freak came from... Eric's suggestions, and while they're good, they're hearty. Um, you know, the spiced apple cider is heavy, peanut butter jelly is heavy. <clears throat> Graham cracker, mind you, is 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 really really mild. Um, the room fills the graham cracker smell, but the the flavor isn't overpowering whatsoever. It, it's barely noticeable, in my honest opinion. I got you know, sorry, I got a two fifty of it. And I like it. I will use it and mix with other flavors, but I don't know if I'll smoke it on its own anymore. This one, on the other hand, is, is strong enough to enjoy, but not super overpowering. I mean, it tastes like key lime pie, like I would expect. Um, it's not like a sharp, you know, like, you know, you bit into a lime or like a gin and tonic kind of, you know, put one in there flavor. Um, it's not like that really sh you know, heavy citrusy flavor that you get out of a lot of citrusy flavors. Um, I don't know. I'd say, get it, I'd say 8.7. 8.7 sounds right. Um, don't know what I'm missing. Again, drinking. So, you know, keep keep my reviews interesting. Uh, thank you to Renee and Scott and Seamus at Hookah Shisha uh, for the Maya QT. The thing is fantastic. Um, hopefully, I can get some reviews up from them. That was supposed to be a link. I don't know if it was. I was attempting um, Sahara smoke for the uh, for the flavors and the vortex bowl and um, you know, thanks to Eric for recommending it it's it's good I really like it a lot you know some of the flavors he's recommended are good and I'll smoke them but it's not a daily kind of you know or a weekly kind of thing um, this I like so anyways leave you with a couple puffs and apologize for the length of the video but hopefully this will uh, Get me more comfortable in front of the camera. Um, I think I'm getting there. So you let me know. You know, it's completely up to you at this point. Comments are more than welcome. I apologize for the length of the video, and if you suck through it, congratulations. Appreciate it.